Hey guys, hope you guys are doing great uh, right now. I'm just uh, trying to just do a little recording about uh, me picking up the boat. I'm on my way right now to pick up my boat uh, so I can take it back home, uh, clean it, and maybe you know fix a couple little little details that I have to fix in the boat before I take it on the water. So the idea is maybe tomorrow, Saturday or Sunday, uh, just to take it out there, take it for a ride, maybe do some fishing if weather permits. So yeah, right now we're just going uh, to pick it up and then from there uh, take it back home, uh, do some of the repairs and or service, I would say service, uh, and get ready for this weekend. So stick around, here we go. Finally just made it and uh, we're ready to tow this thing back home. Uh, like You can see the water went down since last time we were here last Friday. I'm already all connected and ready to go. Still kind of muddy here. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's, uh, let's go home, clean it, service it, make sure everything is ready to go. So here's the spot where I put my uh, boat usually. Uh, I'm gonna just take it down now. Uh, start to work on it and see what we can do. But you can see here where the water came up during the hurricane, how high the water was here. The boat is still in good shape. It's just dirty right now. Needs a lot of work on it. And also I'm having some issues with a power trim. I believe it's leaking right here. It's wet. I've been uh, having to fill it up. Um, so I think I'm gonna take that out, the trim and tilt. I'm gonna take it out and just have it rebuilt. Okay, so have not start to clean the boat. Uh, what I did first is uh, basically every fitting that you see over here in the motor and the steering, uh, you wanna grease it. So I greased those two. I had to clean them a little bit, wipe them out that one there there's another one here there are quite a few around so you just have to pay attention look for them just grease them up very good um trying to get to the bottom of my problem why my trim and tilt works sometimes and sometimes doesn't work i kind of knew already i think the problem but i just confirm it right now is this ring right here is worn out let me show you we're gonna go down first you see how dry it is no fluid no nothing we're gonna go down with it all the way down now we're gonna go up and you can see how how it's wet so i have to basically replace i'm not sure what they call um seals i guess and trim and tilt um so i'm gonna do this job myself and the problem is again i fill it up every single time i have to bleed it i had air inside and of course when it goes up and down air was going inside the unit so um but i have to take basically the entire trim and tilt system out of my boat I may do that tomorrow. Um, I was thinking to take the boat out tomorrow, but uh, I can maybe. But then I know by Monday, uh, I mean, that's just to save the day. I can take it out tomorrow if I want to. Just have to fill it up and just bleed it. But of course, it's going to be leaking a little air and, and fluid. But maybe I go out tomorrow or Sunday, depending. 
and then on the week um, when I have some time during the weekend uh, I'm sorry during the week I will take that out and there's a couple companies that can rebuild them put new seals in it and give it back to you so that's gonna be the project for now but for now let's clean this bowl because it's very dirty let me show you uh, you can see how dirty how dirty it is right now those seats are not that bad but look at this seat over here my goodness I'm gonna have to uh, maybe use your pressure washers use some bleach it needs a lot of attention uh, everywhere is very dirty you can see here so again I don't mind about that dust like that the hard part to take these things out is basically uh, is this mold you see I have no see if you can see the mold but let's work on that today and tomorrow and this weekend and get the bow back to uh, cheap shade again and uh, be able to take it on the water so yep look at this seat right here insane wife obviously is not happy about it so <laughs> She said, will you take care of it? I said, yes, of course, I'm gonna take care of it. So let's work on that, guys. So another thing that I forgot to mention very quickly, uh, sorry for the back noise, uh, they're working on the yard, but uh, you can see where the water was in the storm. So of course, if that means the water was there, that means my trailer was underwater, submerged. Um, and it means that obviously uh, my bearings and my tire were underwater for a couple days, so I took these caps, this is a uh, body bearings, I think is what they call them, I'm not sure exactly, but I will put it here length of what it is. You just grease them, make sure that they're greased up, all of them packed up, fill them up with grease, close it, and you should be fine. But now I'm just going to hose the trailer down and make sure that all the salt water can just come out of it. So here we go. Six hours later. So guys, uh, yes, uh, finished to uh, clean the boat took the seats uh, the snap seats right here to take them out and just clean them they're very black like you can imagine but these little snaps here uh, I'm gonna have to replace some of them uh, I guess with the time the corrosion it's just literally uh, it's very hard to take them out some of them I'm gonna put some WD-40 now replace some of them I just went to a flea market near here and they have these uh, sets already already put one in it's the new one in all literally you have to do is just uh, put this on the floor put the head that you want to use for example this is the head let's see if i can sh with one hand it's kind of hard this is the head put it there against the floor then you come from the other side uh, of the uh, leather and basically the, the leather is going to be in the middle it's going to be there and all you have to do literally just uh, with this little device right here that comes included again it's very cheap and a hammer you just uh, hit it down a couple times and it's gonna basically stick together so yeah I'm gonna replace some of them uh, this one is already like you can see right there it's already installed just hope that they last long I don't know if they're stainless steel I doubt they're stainless steel this one I doubt they're stainless steel but uh, let me see the material looks similar so let's see how long they hold but right now what i'm gonna do too is i'm gonna uh, hit them with a little bit of a wd-40 that should take care of it so yeah um next step again is gonna be just go to the uh storage we have a hurricane coming here maybe uh, another storm coming on um wednesday probably wednesday so i want to take the boat out of here put it back over there we can see how it's leaking i already saw what i need to do to replace this um i will do it that's gonna be another video so stick around more videos to come <laughs> 